Type 2 diabetes is a complex, chronic condition that can lead to serious complications, including kidney disease. About 67% of type 2 diabetes patients are at high risk of declining kidney function, and approximately 30% already have declining renal function. Many may not know it. Dr. Lawrence Leader is a leading endocrinologist and professor of medicine. People with diabetes are at risk for a number of potential complications, uh, including renal disease. And we know that years of diabetes with high sugar and high blood pressure may lead to renal impairment, which ultimately could lead to what we call end-stage renal disease and the requirement for dialysis. Unfortunately, this risk is not always well appreciated by our patients. One of the challenges with some of the current available anti-diabetic medications is that they must be cleared through the kidneys before leaving the body. As kidney function declines, patients on these medications often have to adjust the dose or stop taking the drug altogether. But now a new option is available in Canada to improve blood sugars in adults with type 2 diabetes who are at risk of declining renal function. There are a number of different medications that can be used to lower glucose levels and help to prevent some of the potential complications of diabetes. And all of these drugs have potential advantages and disadvantages. One class of medication that's recently been introduced in Canada are the so-called DPP-4 inhibitors. And these drugs increase insulin, they lower glucagon, thereby helping to reduce blood sugar levels without causing a blood sugar that goes too low. The latest member of this class to be introduced in Canada is called linagliptin or Trigenta. And unlike the other members of this class, this drug is not metabolized by the kidney and therefore does not require dose adjustment in patients with renal impairment. Liz Bazert knows what it's like to be diagnosed with type 2 diabetes and to understand the impact this chronic disease has on her life. I was first diagnosed with type 2 diabetes about 10 years ago um, and it was a diagnosis that shocked me. I wasn't expecting it at all. Uh, when my doctor informed me of all the different complications that arise with type 2 diabetes, I was quite shocked, um, especially shocked when he told me that I was at high risk for kidney dysfunction. To delay or prevent complications of diabetes, Canadians with type 2 diabetes are encouraged to keep their blood glucose as close to their A1C target as possible. Maintaining healthy eating habits and an active lifestyle and taking prescribed diabetes medication will help keep blood glucose levels within their target range. My message to people with type 2 diabetes is to take this disease very seriously right from the beginning. Make sure you eat properly, take your medications, do your exercises, but most of all, get your blood sugars tested regularly so that you know that they are where they should be and it could possibly lower your risk of kidney dysfunction. It's important for Canadians with type 2 diabetes to talk to their doctor about possible complications, appropriate treatment options, and how to manage their diabetes effectively. Sherry Demetarko reporting.